All right, what's going on everyone? Uh, I thought I'd give you a quick update today on where my project stands with interfacing a bunch of automotive industrial analog sensors into an Arduino microcontroller unit and displaying it onto some OLED screens. This, is, this project would be similar to some sort of uh, automotive ECU unit where you're, you're monitoring different values that's, uh, on, that are on your vehicle or vehicle's engine. So I want to monitor things like voltage, I want to monitor oil pressure, I want to monitor fuel pressure, um, boost pressure, I have uh, exhaust gas temperatures, and um, what else am I missing? Things like that. So now that I'm getting uh, towards the, the next stage of this project, uh, I need to have some sort of unit where I can run all the wires back from the sensors and then uh, hook it up to the microcontroller. Now what I wanted to achieve here is I wanted to have each of my sensors be able to easily unplug from the computer unit. Uh, so I use these JST type connectors. It came as a kit and you can easily solder these onto some prototype board. So this prototype board for the Arduino Mega just sits right on top. And what I've done is I've soldered on a bunch of headers here. So what I can do is I can just plug this in directly to the Arduino Mega. And let's say that it's in the vehicle. This is going to be in inside of some type of enclosure. But let's say it's in the vehicle and it's working and I wanted to reprogram something or add something. I could just unplug this, take it back to the computer, program it, and then bring it back to the vehicle and then just plug it back in again. Or if I wanted, I could just unplug all my sensors and take the whole thing back uh, inside and continue to develop it. So this is kind of where it stands right now. This is the thermo, uh, thermocouple breakout board for the exhaust gas temperatures. This is the voltage sensor board. This is the voltage regulator board. So I can run 12 volts from the vehicle battery in and then have five volts out, which powers the whole uh, microcontroller unit and then all these these two five pin connectors are going to run to my OLED screens I'm planning on having four one and a half inch LED screens that can fit inside of a um, a standard automotive like two and a sixteenth or 52 millimeter gauge pod and then I'm also going to have a weather monitor sensor, so the BME280, which you can monitor ambient temperature, pressure, and humidity. And then you can use those values to do any sort of calculations that you want. So that's kind of where this stands right now. The next step is I need to, I need to take the bottoms of all these connectors and do some wiring to the correct analog and digital pins for each type of sensor. Um, what my idea is, uh, is I have some, uh, some breadboard, like, solid wire that I, I'm thinking about uh, soldering onto the different holes here and just rout routing them along to the correct pins. If you've got any better ideas, let me know for soldering on, on the bottoms of these prototype boards. I'm just new to this and I'm learning as I go, but if you take it one step at a time, you can, uh, I'm starting to achieve what I, what I want to achieve. So Thanks for watching and stay tuned for some more videos in the future. Cheers.